Hey everybody, it's Alara here and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We are here in Japantown, specifically headed to Jig Jig Street, which is where we've heard Evelyn Parker was last seen. Uh, we met her boss and got some information out of him at Clouds, and apparently she was taken to a ripper on Jig Jig Street for repairs. Sounds a little sketchy, but it's the only lead we've got, so let's see if we can't find her, hopefully in one piece. All right, so am I going the right way? This place is a little, uh, it's a little confusing. There's just so many people. Okay, here we go. Fingers Clinic. Looks like it's over this way. Definitely looks a little sus. Back alley Ripper Dock. Just our, just our favorite. Ugh. Oh yeah, no, this place is, ugh. Okay, Fingers MD. Here it is. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Uh, uh, look, just, just don't start, okay? Got an issue, need sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking, sheesh. Fine. Let him through, sludge. Awesome. That worked out. We just had to flex his muscles a little bit. Now in we can go, thank you. Alright. Yeah, oh god. Gracious creature and, and benign! Don't turn off the light. Because to the elements of pure! Hot for the world! Joy toys under the influence of drugs. The drugs? What the hell are they taking? Sounds like paradise. Great. Okay, so uh, this is looking less and less like a doctor's hours, office. Feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. And more and more like a drug house. What is what is this? Are you all right? Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim. I hate water. Can't you see nobody cares? Good lord. Uh, is fingers around? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap. You know. Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left to shredded cables and empty bottles. Another joy toy under the influence of drugs. Yeah, it looks like they're all drugged up in here. This place looks like a bomb shelter. Holy crap, I would certainly not be coming here to visit a doctor. Uh-oh. I hear something. Take it to court, you pussy. And leave me be. What's happening? Huh? Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck. Made off. it all the way here. Judy, what? You must really want to talk to Evelyn. What are you doing here? Hello. There's a line. No, -uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. You know fingers. Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. So what are you doing here? What are you even doing here, Judy? Same thing as you, looking for Evelyn. How'd you know where to find her? How'd you know to look for Evelyn here? Got friends at Clouds. Word spreads out of there quicker than the clap. <laughs> Meaning? Friend told me what you dug up, so here I am. Why'd Evelyn go back to Clouds? After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talk to Fingers yet? You talk to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Okay. Um, Rosie Harper. She is sick. Her cyberware is faulty or damaged. Mitzi Sparks. Also sick. Cyberware faulty or damaged. This guy, Ross Austin, sick. Okay, everyone here 
our sick joy toys. Got it. What do we got right here? Chrome Knight Love. Um, so, Fingers helps working folk. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helped me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Judy, not helping. And being a cripple. Um, I need to talk. I'll say my friend here's in really bad shape. Could we cut in front? My friend here, she's in real sorry shape. You couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh, of course, honey, be my guest. Oh. Well, now hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open those. Well, that worked out. That was easier than I thought. Thank Come you, on. gals. Let's go. Guess the V charm really helped us out. How about now? Can we go in now? Uh, wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. What is happening in there? Previous owner had a longer face than you. Fingers MD. Clinic med bay and repair. Don't worry. Something broken? Oh, he's done. he's done. Okay, I'll stop reading about his services. Let's do it. This guy seems like a fucking creep. Although I guess he is helping people, so I don't know. Yes. Hello. What can I do for you? Hi. Uh, can we talk a minute? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all. Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. Ew. <laughs> but I'm busy right now. At least he's washing his hands. Tiger claws. As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Uh, we're looking for Evelyn Parker. Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Is this not the many office? girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, Padded to feel like like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Yeah, this guy's fucking creepy. Like, look, this is his office. Oh god. Uh, I'm gonna say you remember her. I know you do. Went jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. The name Forrest set off any buzzers? Forrest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Woodman's got nothing left to say. Didn't like Woodman's tone. So I made sure you'll have a tough time speaking for a while. Not too fond of you either right about now. So careful what you say. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Look at his, like, tattoos of lipstick marks. Oh my god, that's so creepy. This guy just gives me, like, the the creeps, the major what's ick. Yes, what's, what's wrong is you. Uh, no, what was wrong with Evelyn? <laughs> you mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Any idea what caused the damage? Tech was top-notch. Didn't go kerplunk on its own, that's for sure. Saying she was targeted? A netrunner, as I see it. One with some serious code up their sleeve, too. 
Okay, so get to the point. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her that way. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me. Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. You know that for sure? You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. So, what are these underground BDs? What do you mean by underground? I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. Where are these BDs recorded? Where we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I I did what anyone in my place would do. Which is? When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who's your fixer? Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Okay, we know Wakako. Where did they take her? Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gonk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gonk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. Wow, Judy. Okay, um, back on topic. What did the guys look like? These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. What were they planning to do with her? The two that came for her. Didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You pawned her off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Woo! Judy! Need air. I'll be outside. I mean, look, Judy's right. She was a person. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here. I gladly will do that. All right, we got some information. Evelyn is not here. She is in bad shape. Someone really busted her up. We don't know how or why. Probably someone to do with, uh, with the corpos. Regardless, we need to go try to find her. All right, guys, you're up. Enjoy your time with Dr. Creepy. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry, we'll find her. Don't worry, we'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You wanna give up now? No, only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the death's head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head. Heard the term used ever? Death's head symbol bring anything to mind? 
Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, Market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move, almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Makes sense. Well, we need to find out where they scroll these things. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves a trace behind. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City. A domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Okay. Sounds like it's time for us to surf the web. Pleasures of Night City. Let me think for a sec. Um. I mean, I actually know Wakako, though. I think I'll try calling Wakako. Fix her fingers mentioned. Thought of an angle to run on her? Why would I need one? Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. Huh. Okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze, play detective. Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. Alright. I'll wait in the van. Sounds good. I'll meet you there. I'm gonna go visit Wakako. Normally, I would just call her, but seeing as we're literally right next door, we may as well pop in in person. Might get something valuable out of a face-to-face -face encounter. There we go. Makako's pachinko parlor. And here's Makako in the back. Hello. Hello. You wanted to talk? Yes, please. How are things? How's things, Wako? This a prelude to whatever illegal favor you're about to ask me? What? No. What? No, never. <laughs> me and V say the exact same that thing. Case, they couldn't be better. Kind of you to ask. And you? Uh, I'm actually looking for a brain dance. Looking for a brain dance. Oh, any particular one? Logo on the casing. A death's head moth. Whoa, now, that's quicksand. So I would advise caution. Know who makes them? Know who makes them, where they scroll them. And do you know what a fixer does? Allow me to explain. Not only do I finalize transactions, uh, I can accomplish- Do you see her phone floating in midair? <laughs> As she was moving her hand, she was like force pulling her cell phone. <laughs> oh, Wakako has the force. Keep their heads, period. So don't you ever ask me who, with whom, where, when, why, or how. <laughs> All right, got it, noted. Uh, well, can you just get me one then? Can you get me one of those recordings? No, but I have a pretty good idea who can. Who'd that be? There's a store on Jig Jig Street. Oh my god, do you see her phone? Would have crap inside. Try asking the owner. Thanks, Wako. Wow. I, uh, that was something else. We got the information we needed and we also learned out that Wakako is a force user. <laughs> Their phone floating around there. All right. Let's go see what we can find in this R-rated store. Where's your cute little ass rushing off? Hello. Thank you. Treat yourself to a little Use your imagination. Hi, I'm uh Why are you taking pictures? So I wouldn't have to. I'm looking for a special kind of brain dance. Yeah. Looking for uh something special. A brain dance to really You mean smut? Nah, more Hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street. Has a whole lot of peculiar flicks. And I mean peculiar. Alright. Thank you. I'll go check with him. Got 
something that'll keep you hard for hours. Looks like you can literally find everything on Jig Jig Street. <laughs> You've been just a bit more careful. But I was. And I got something raw, out, you know? untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? Looks like someone else is here. For me. Trying to get some raw. sketchy brain dances. Not at all, man. Bare knuckle sure. boxing. Shootouts, black ops, interrogations, Stop amputations. For a week. No, 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 no. I mean, and something I like. Work, we're both well, going hungry. You know, Fine. fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? No, I don't. I'll come back some other time. Oh, we're never going to find out what it was that he wanted. Look. Hi there. How about you? You buying or just going to stand there like a pig undercover? This guy looks real fancy. I like his, uh, his outfit. I need a special brain dance. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cop would have had enough evidence to detain already. If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs while you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. No discount? How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Well, that didn't work. Uh, where do you get your goods, anyway? Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. People that make these, <laughs> obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. All right. Guess we're not going to get any information out of him. Let's see what he has that for sale. Might interest me. Okay. Um, this is it. Deep fried death's head moth. An illicit brain dance. Incompatible with your software. 350 bucks. All right. We'll take it. Pleasure doing biz with you. Okay. I guess now we'll go meet up with Judy. And if we can go back to her studio, perhaps she can pr play this brain dance. Because apparently I'm not going to be able to. And honestly, I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> Hey. Here, kitty, kitty. What's Just, the rush? Are you talking to me or Johnny? <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. It is 4 a.m. and uh, it's getting a little, a little sketchy on Jig Jig Street. All right, here's Judy. Hop in. Okay. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. All right, I'm ready. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something. Here. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Ordered recently. Pizza from Buck a Slice. The aromas of anchovies, modified olives, and tuna proteins. Not tuna. Tuna proteins. Here, who's this guy? Oh, well, it's well, a lab a suit. Patch in the coveralls. Power plant worker uniform. <laughs> What's on the computer over there? Scav woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XPDs? 
and beat that rich synth golf aroma. <laughs> Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. All right, so we got pizza from Buck a slice and coffee from Buck a slice, so this place is probably close to a Buck a slice. That helps narrow it down. Ordinary box. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. Standard for a trash heap. So? Okay. Means someone's grabbing Buck a slice regularly. Which is not something someone does for the flavor and the fresh ingredients. Used to have a Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Hill. Nobody's gonna Buckers slap across town for it. How can you be sure, though? All right, so it's somewhere next to a buck of slice. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. I mean, that narrows it down pretty nicely there, actually. Power plant, plant next to a buck slice. Apparently that's in Charter Hill, so we know exactly where to go. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Sure. Let's get going. On our way. Apparently, this perceptive porpoise cousin... Hit it, Judy. I like this van of hers. Lots of room in the back for all of her tech equipment. Still can't shake it. That fruit you sample we saw with the dead's head moth. If all they scroll with snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. There. Yeah, so I think that answers my question that I had in the previous episode. The dolls, they are human. They just have a special implant that allows them to, like, tap into your information and thus deliver you what you want. Just like we saw Angel do. Anyway, Judy's got the wheel. We're gonna enjoy the night- the views of Night City. And I'll get back to you guys when we arrive at the power plant. Alright, here we are. Thanks for the ride, Judy. We're up in the industrial section. And here we are. Alright. Wait. What? Never did tell me why you're looking for her. How do I know you won't be any worse than whatever's going on in there? What? Uh, no, okay, I just gotta find out who hired her. Gotta find out who hired her. Whoever they are, I need their help, and quick. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Figures. Wouldn't expect anything less from a merc. What's that Great. supposed to mean? I'm glad. Now, can we go? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Alright. Fine. Alright. Going in. Shooty away here in the van. Here is the Electric Corporation. Let's see if we can find some sneaky way to get in here. Gates closed. No surprise there. There's guards. There's a dumpster. <laughs> Industrial shutters. A gate. Can we open any of this? If we had a high enough technical ability, we could. Oh, I could force the shutters open. Because I'm strong. <laughs> Alright, grab all this loot. And then we're going to have to get into sneaky sneaky mode. Okay, there's a bunch of scabs there. Wondering if, like, we can't climb up onto this. Come on, V, use your arms! There we go. Alright. Alright, enough slacking around. Get that shit off the street. Disable that security camera. You're in such a hurry, you do it. Looks like no one's. Time to get ninja-y. Oh, there's someone over here. As long as they don't see us, we can get get rid of them. Yeah, he's just watching the news. Hello! 
Mass is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with improved technology. But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that... Got 75 years of cyberware. I think we've read that one before. Uninterrupted repair to the Steal his gun. And use his computer. To open the gate. Oh, that's only if I jack in I could do those things. But I don't have a high enough tech skill. Someone on Jig Jig asked about our studio, so either we're about to get nominated for an award or get robbed. Uh-oh. Okay. So they know we were coming. I wonder who snitched. I think it was Wakako or probably that guy we brought the brain dance from. Alright. Any more cameras? I don't think so. Alright. Let's do this. Slow and steady wins the race. There's that guy. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. And Try I'm inside. The lower levels. Will do. You be careful, Judy. God, I'm strong. It allows me to get into a lot of places I wouldn't normally be able to get into. Pays to go to the gym, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I begrudgingly say that because I don't want to go to the gym IRL. That's why I send V to the gym in the game. <laughs> I also don't want to jinx myself, but so far everything is going perfectly to plan. Nobody knows I'm here. I'm moving quiet as a mouse. Stealthy as a ninja. Here we are in the basement. V, hold up. I'm close. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. How I'm did here. you get in here, Judy? We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. I underestimated Judy. She she got in here all by herself. That shirt. I know it. What shirt? What? What? What shirt? <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. Okay. Hear that. You're what? Judy, you're stressing me out. Keep donors sedated. If the property fights, add segmenial anesthesia. Oh, God. Oh, this shirt. Evelyn's? Without a doubt. That's not good, because that's a lot of blood. With an ominous message. Alright, let's keep moving. Uh oh. Found some money, so that's good. Yeah, what are they? What are they even doing here? They're making drugs too. It's also a drug lab. They've decided to just do every crime. We're like, well, kidnapping. Fine. Murdering. RPM here. It's not enough. We're also gonna cook some drugs and make a meth lab. Whoa! Used to sprinkle it on my breakfast. Of course you did, Johnny. Seems like you were a very healthy guy. Sprinkling drugs on your breakfast cereal. Judy, let's keep moving. Keep low profile. Through the drug lab. You can always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you gotta make it now. I mean, we've been going stealthy so far. It would be nice to keep going stealthy, to be honest. Okay, that can that camera's actually already turned off. Which is good. Can we do anything to distract them? Distract them at all. Judy, if I grab one, could you grab the other? Or are you only good at stealth, not killing? Mm. 
Air conditioner. There we go. Distract. No? Why does it look like none of them are getting distracted? Alright, I'm going in. It's one. We can just get right by this guy. We don't even need to bother him. Until he turns around and sees his buddy unconscious on the floor, but hopefully we'll be done by then. Keep moving, Judy. Careful. Two live ones there. Yeah, Judy, you're not doing very good at you take him down. Oh, okay. Joe's about to screw with those pipes. Get some smoke going. I was gonna say, Judy, you're not uh take him out. Alright. Might have made a little bit too much noise there. So we gotta we gotta get moving. Come on, Judy. Hang on, wait. Actually, first I need to loot these. I've been seeing some issues with dialogue. It seems like V and Judy talk over each other a whole lot, so I do apologize for that. Obviously, the game is not bug-free. See what I can stir up. Yeah, you do your thing in here, Judy, while I do my thing, aka looting. I gotta say, breaking in here was pretty smooth. We got through pretty much without any issue. Let's see if Judy can find us any valuable information now. Nothing? Okay, well how about you- I'll leave you to do that and I'll- I'll keep moving. Oh. There's a dude. Oh god, okay. That does not look good. Yeah, oh shit. This is this is bad. We gotta find Evelyn quick. That is just a box of arms. A box of arms. Oh, I hate this place. What do you think, Johnny? Looks like they stripped this one for implants. Got it out all our implants. Why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Wow, these guys are the full deal. Scavs never can get rid of them. Scavs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. So, we'll add this to their rap sheet. They kidnap people, murder them, steal their organs, make drugs. These guys have got a lot of crimes going on. Look, they've even got like drawings of kneecaps and other body parts. Okay, we're not gonna be able to get through there. Which means we're gonna have to go through here. Me too. Hey, nobody checks on us and every day is chill. We don't have to stand outside all day in the rain. Why are you there? That sucks so much, man. Yeah. No. I hate the Ooh, okay, I distracted them and got over here. Looks like they're burning some of the remains in an incinerator. Going the right way? No, I don't think so. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to go upstairs. Oh, crap. I think he sees me. Ah, shit. Well, it was good while it lasted. We were stealthy for a lot of this area. We're gonna have to fight these guys down in the incinerator. But luckily, if we're all the way downstairs in the incinerator, the noise shouldn't travel that far. Oh crap. I say that and hear some other dude shoot me. Die! Ninja Samurai is here to ruin your day, you fucking creeps! Whew. Alright, let's go. No more stealth. 
Close to the studio. I'm fucking it up, Judy. Oh, there's so much garbage. Freed up the elevator. It should be easier to get out of here. Those guys were just sat watching BD. No, I'm not taking any chances, Judy. We are in this now, and this these guys have a rap sheet a mile long, so I don't feel bad at all getting rid of them. We need to find Evelyn and get out of here. First we'll grab the loot. Woo! Off with his head! <laughs> All right. Where's All Judy? Right, here. Hi, I'm right behind you. Hang in there, Ev. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. Oh God. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Oh God, I she doesn't her. look good. Cable two. It's a lot of blood. It and tell me when you're gonna yank it. Did I'll she write all that? At the same time. Oh God, Johnny, what do you think? What do you think? What do I do now? What we came here to do, find the truth, ask her. Johnny, she's unconscious. Or she's a better actor than we thought. I don't think she's acting right now. Oh my God. Oh, look at the cockroaches. Oh, this is disgusting. Okay, I'm ready, Judy. All right, let's do this. Oh God. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? What? What's wrong with her? I mean, do I even need to ask that? It's quite clear what's wrong with her. Can we move her? Is she okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine. It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Okay, let's get her someplace safe. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. God. This reminds me of the poor lady we found in mine and Jackie's very first Merc mission. Just being absolutely abused, tortured. It's so, so rough. So disgusting, honestly. Let's get out of here. Get Evelyn someplace safe. What is that? Oh, that's the BD case? Come on, is it really that hard? Johnny? Please, just one. For me. Wait, what? Oh, he wants- this is a cigarette case. Johnny's, and he wants me to smoke. No, I'm not smoking. I don't want lung cancer. I'm already dying. Smoking's for posers, and it stinks, too. True. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non-smokers are the fucking worst. Just my luck. How dare we care about our health, we our skin, in. our nails, our breath. <laughs> Let's give him some time. Okay, we must be at Judy's, and we're just outside in the rain while she takes care of Evelyn. Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. That's why it's not up to you, Johnny. Jesus Christ. First, he wants me to Won't smoke. Be much better if you don't get your ass in gear. Yes, I know. I'm also not going to be looking much better if I hit that cigarette you want me to. All right, let's go. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. <laughs> God. All right. We got a text from Meredith Stout. Militech played out as I hoped. Thank you. And remember, we don't know each other. Shame. We're starting to like you. No tell motel. First floor. Come alone. Oh. Okay. Glad to hear that uh, Meredith turned out okay with Militech. But anyway, we've got more pressing matters right now. Oh, is this Judy's apartment? Look at the art. Oh my god, that's so cute! Did she make this? Judy, your place! It's adorable! She's sleeping. Is she okay? Uh, at least I think she is. 
Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. That's good. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she holding up? How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. Great. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. Wait, really? So, I need to talk to her. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not going to happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. So you're mad at her, though? Why? You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay, so we're not going to be able to talk to Evelyn, but perhaps this will give us the answers we need. Did you watch them already? Guessing you saw them already. Yeah, I had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. Okay, let's see it. Okay, show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. Nice home studio here. Let's get started. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. This is the convenience of having a BD chip what implanted in someone. Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something at the very beginning that I missed. Take a look around if you want. Who is this? I can't see your face. Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. This must that, be or someone's working it for her. Yeah, this must be the Netrunner who messed up Evelyn in the first place. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. All right, let's keep watching. Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. Yeah, so it looks like, sorry to pause so I don't talk over them, but it looks like this is the person who gave Evelyn the job and the one who asked her to record the original uh, BD of the room in Konpeki Plaza. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait pourri. So this lady has a French accent. I don't know if that means anything. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Wait, she, did she just have a gun? Yeah. What is this? Might not be important. Maybe. But all of them are from Pacifica. Now it's down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Yeah, so we got Pacifica papers. 
Evidence of voodoo boys who are also based in Pacifica. Similar to the other BD we watched that helped us narrow down the location. I think that's what we've got here. I'm gonna finish watching the, uh... Watching the brain dance just to see if there's any more information. Should I... Bioship? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. Ah, oh, well that's interesting. So they only just wanted her to go in and take the recording. They never wanted her to get the biochip. So either sh they changed that plan, or Evelyn went rogue. Wanted the biochip for herself. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. Hmm. Okay, this is very interesting. But at least we've got a lead. Alright, I think we got everything. What do you think? Woman who hired her. The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. It's okay. Well, now I know why they tried to flatline her. Now we know what happened in Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Yeah, the top dogs. Evelyn wasn't completely honest with us. It looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. I'd known what she'd gotten herself into. Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Why not? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Can we translate that French? What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Perfect, thanks, Meantime, Judy. You try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Try scanning the phone. Got it. Give it a second. Have to know what they're saying. We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Okay. So now we can just listen to their conversation. Let's rewind. Uh, this, this is still in French. Yes, you were right. She's too smart for her own good. Will she bring us trouble? She wouldn't dare. Besides, she's our best route to Yornobu. We must take this risk. Okay, so they didn't trust her from the very beginning. I wish I shared your confidence that Silverhand will lead us to Alt. You have a better idea? Good. Then if you've done questioning my judgment, you can get back to work. Okay, so the whole reason they wanted the biochip is because they want Johnny to lead them to someone named Alt. Evelyn heard of their plans and said, well, fuck it, I'm going to take that chip for myself. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Uh, his construct is the one on the biochip. The biochip we stole. 
It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. <laughs> Just need some alone time, Judy. Thank you. Know how to find these people? Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. She's just looking for help. Anyway, these people. What could they want from Alt? These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Okay. Well, we've got a lead. Pacifica. Voodoo boys. French netrunner lady. Wait. You got any idea how to get in touch with the voodoo boys? Uh, I mean, I'll ask around. I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Mm, thanks. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. She could have gotten to know you a bit better than... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. You're a good person too, Judy. I really like Judy. Judy is maybe my favorite character in the whole game. She's she's so awesome. Didn't know if we could go in to check on Evelyn, but it seems Judy's closed the door for her privacy. Fair enough. So let's get out of here. All right. Well, we've got a lot to unpack. We saved Evelyn, we've got a lead, and now we need to figure out how we can get an in with the Voodoo Boys. For now, though, it's been a long episode today. There was a lot happening, so how about we call it a day here? The new jobs are rolling in. When we pick up next time, we will take a look at some of those and continue our journey through Cyberpunk 2077. Thanks, everyone, so much for watching, and until next time.